Welcome to our lecture. Here we are in the website of the Thunder Bay for the community recommendation. And we are in the first page describing the rural northern immigration program based on the information that basically Thunder Bay started working back in November 2019 by being selected and contacted employers that could register and be posting their jobs by December last year. And in January 2nd, 2020, then the Thunder Bay started accepting application for people that were wishing to immigrate to Thunder Bay. We're going to take a look at some of the criteria that the city are recommending through the website. Among those criteria is the right criteria for the employers. If you happen to contact an employer and they are not aware of this pilot program, you can send it to this link in their website and they can check the criteria. Here are the employer criteria. Basically, they're gonna be located in the in the city. Of course, they're gonna have to fulfill all these requirements from one to number eight, and they can their job has to be in these skill levels. If you can see skill level A, the uh, the city is looking for registered nurses, physiotherapists, civil engineers mechanical engineers and electrical and electronic engineers and of course these uh, occupations will be mostly regulated so you need to take the information also on how to become licensed in the province of Ontario since Thunder Bay is located in Ontario. The skill level B, for skill level B you have all these occupations that the city is looking for and the jobs for the employers in the city will need to fall into one of these categories forestry and technician in technologies, air pilots, air traffic controllers, medical technologies and technicians, pharmacy technicians, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, licensed practical nurses, chef, butchers and bakers, tile settles, early child educator assistant, machinery and transportation equipment mechanic, aromatic service uh, technicians, other mechanic and related tech pairs, all the ground production and development miners and logging machine operators. When it comes to the classification for skill level C, they have dental assistant, nurses aid, residential and commercial installer and services, transport truck drivers, heavy equipment operators except crane, on the ground mining service and support workers, machine operators, mineral and metal processing, concrete, clay and stone forming operators, inspector and tester, mineral and metal processing, that's a lot of job in mining, they have also metal working and forge, forging machine operators, they have also basically other areas related to manufacturing and construction, and if we go to level D, basically they're looking for construction, trade helpers and laborers, so if you have someone experience as a construction, working as a construction, you have a skill level D available under this pilot program and employers that are related to the construction industry can take advantage of that and hire people with your skills. Okay? If we go to the information for the employment opportunity, finding a job as a, an applicant, then you can see how to apply here and on this information. They have, of course, the next step that you need to do and again they have the skill levels here the employment opportunities they have registered nurses for St. Joseph Care Group there's a job in that uh, classification they have several jobs in skill skill level B they need a far pharmacy technician in the same St. Joseph Care Group they need a registered practice nurse they need a chef in Edis Lee and they need a licensed mechanic in McKevy Trucking so there's an opportunity based on the job a national classification. You can see also in level C of the NOC, they have a job for personal support workers in the St. Joseph Care Group. The Canada US Class AC in International Truck Driver for the this trucking company, McKevitt. Transport Truck Driver for Brunos Contracting, some opportunity for truck drivers. Heavy equipment operators also in Brunos Contracting and concrete clay and stone forming operator Bruno's contracting. So you need you see the names here of their employers that may, might help you contact these employers directly 
through LinkedIn and also looking a Google search the content information for the employers and if you can see the job opportunity opportunity they have and you see that your resume and your experience match those opportunities then contact directly the employers all right and we can see here classification for the NLC skill level D this is a construction helper and laborer for this neighborhood village and if you click there you will see the opportunity with the details okay so other opportunity you have more information here they have employment directory when you can find more information if we click here we will see those opportunities and also if you have an employer that is not listed you can then give it the information and they can follow the information how they can become an approved employer under this pilot program for the city of Thunder Bay you have a contact information here and Emily Lawson is the contact information for employers just send the information to or give the information to the employer to contact Emily and she will be happy probably to uh, guide the employers step by step how to get approved all right so if we go to the job seeker application we can see here that they have the job seeker information they have some YouTube videos that we can check as well and this is the di directory that you can use beside that they can these are the list of the directory you can see most of these are regular ones that we know but also they have a specific one that we haven't checked that probably they're using specifically the one here for these specific ones that it seems are working with Thunder Bay who is posting jobs for employers in the city so let's take a look at these uh, uh, links and also they have local job banks for Thunder Bay that you can check also for jobs available and a student job bank if you're a student in Ontario you can check these choices for students specifically for a university in the areas and colleges in the area and of course you can try magnet and reconnect that can help you especially if you live in, in in Thunder Bay I want to come back and then you have a choice here with Thunder Bay Reconnect here you have a lot of links for totem employers how you start your business and if you are a healthcare worker you might be interested in checking this information about seeking healthcare workers okay so continue this information for employment and once you secure an employment then you need to go then to the applicant part applicant section and here we have the recommendations and guidelines here we can see that they have a cap for Thunder Bay and this the cap is based on the skill level A B C and D and the cap for the skill level is 10 so they basically gonna nominate only 10 people probably during the year uh, for this skill level uh, skill level A 40 people on the, the skill level B 40 people in skill level C um, 10 people in the skill liberty so far they have each of the following they haven't issued any, anything so far of the for like, skill level a they has issued two nominations for skill level b and that's it so basically only two people have been nominated you need to be able to understand that this this is the skill level and also and they have a point summary and this is the way the maximum point that you can achieve is 138 and the committee is only selecting candidates that achieve at least 60 percent of the points so if you achieve at least 80 over 80 points out of the 138 points then you probably going to be selected but for that you need to understand the point system that they use for applicants with a spouse and for applicants that are single applicants so with a spouse then you get you can get 32 points with a spouse in language proficiency and 40 as a single applicant 36 with a spouse in qualifications work experience and 42 as a single applicant age 15 and 15 either for applicant with a spouse or single applicants connection to the community to get 35 with a spouse and 41 as a single applicant and with a spouse you get 20 of course 20 points and the total is 138 and here is 138 okay so basically that's the, that's the guideline of points that you can get and for that you need to go and go over 
every one of these ones. Official languages, this is what they requested. Official languages, applicant with his spouse, if you have a CLB and CLC level seven or more, you get five for applicant with spouse, for a single applicant, you get six, okay? If you have a six, then you got four and the single applicant, they get a five. For a maximum point of 20 for the applicant with the spouse and 24 with the applicant that is single. But remember, the official test has to be one of the tests approved by IRCC. For the second language, then if you get a CLB and CLC of six of at least two of the four abilities, then you get eight with the spouse and 12 as a single applicant. And again, if you get a six, in the four abilities, then you get 10 uh, with a spouse and 14 as a single applicant. And you get a seven or higher of at least two of the four abilities, then you get a 12 as a spouse with a spouse and 16 as an applicant. Then when it comes to qualifications with the community needs, then you see all the requirements here. Applicant with a spouse get 15 and single applicant get 21. And of course, these are the points that you're gonna have to evaluate. Then you have, based on your qualifying educational credential, based also on your qualifying work experience and the required documentation that you need. For voluntary or mandatory certifications obtained related to a job offer, if you get a certification, then as for applicant with a spouse, you get 10, and with single applicant, get 10 points, okay? With the license to drive a vehicle, Applicant with a spouse, if they got a driver's license, five or a five either way. Has to be licensed to the better driver vehicle either in Canada or their country of origin. And for that, you're gonna need to prove this documentation right here to prove, those are the required documents to prove that you got a driver's license, okay? Work experience, then you have the points right here. And you can see that if you have less than two years, you got zero and zero. And you have two to three years, you got three and three. Four to five, you get five or five. And six to 10 years of experience, you get six and six points. And again, to get this point, you need to meet all this requirement. And you need to basically provide this documentation exactly the way they say here. You cannot miss that or they give you, they won't uh, give you those points. Age, basically, Again, if you are under 18 or over 55, you don't get any point. But if you are between 40 to 55, you get 10 or 10, based on applicant with a spouse or single applicant. And if you are between 18 and 40 years, you get 15 or 15. But you need to provide a copy of your passport by a graphical page, all right? And experience living in the small or rural community. Here you can have this information here. If you live in one population, it can be another city, a smaller, the same size of Thunder Bay, but you can prove that with your documentation, mail documentation, leasing documentation, address, everything. Then you get five if you with a spouse or five if you are a single applicant. For candidate with a spouse that has immediate family living in Thunder Bay, then you have family living in Thunder Bay with a an applicant with a spouse get five, a single applicant gets seven, okay? And then you need to provide this documentation to get the points for the person that is in, living in the, in the community and they need to meet these two requirements. They live, live two years at least and have a permanent resident card. And follow the instruction here. Candidates with the extended family members, uh, remember what is in the family it is uh, uncles and things like that cousins because we're talking about five or seven okay current employee with a labor employer then you get 10 and 10 and you need to provide this documentation employment and work experience reference letter from the employer if you reside in Thunder Bay for at least minimum three months you get five on six if you have more than six months living in Thunder Bay, 10 and 12. So good if you're studying in, in, or working in the city already. 
and you need to provide this documentation here. So language proficiency, first person with the spouse, then you're gonna need four and four for the first language and the second language. But you need to meet this uh, minimum of CLB and CLC of five in either or both languages to get those points. And you need to provide the official language test results or participate in an interview, either of the two, in this case, okay? Here you have the education and work experience aligned with community needs. So for the applicant with the spouse, of course, it's gonna be a six. And you're gonna see the information here about how many hours for time, required documentation to prove it, and your educational credential also that you need to prove if you study. And the job offer for the spouse, you're gonna get four points, and you're gonna have to provide a copy of the job offer. And it's, it tell you here they have the minimum 15 hours per week that you're gonna work in that job. So, and finally, you're gonna see that if the spouse reside in Thunder Bay, then you're gonna get two points. This is the guideline, a minimum of three months within the past five years. If they live three months within the past five years by the time of the application, and they can prove it with a copy of the lease agreement or residential bills, hydro, telephone, and gas, then you're gonna get two points uh, based on the spouse residing in Thunder Bay choice. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.